Meet Nora Helmer, our protagonist. Isn't she a doll? She's been Christmas shopping for the family and has indulged a little more than usual. Haven't you, Nora? Better put those macaroons away before Torvald sees them. We don't want any unnecessary dental bills. Torvald, Nora's husband, has just received a promotion at the bank. He still monitors Nora's spending, but, safe to say, this Christmas will be their best yet. But who could be this unexpected visitor? It's Christine Linda, Nora's old school friend. It's a bit weird for her to show up like this, but the more the merrier. Christine admits to Nora that she's fallen on hard times. Her husband died bankrupt, leaving her with nothing, not even any brats to keep her company. She's completely alone. Nora explains that while they're comfortable now, she and Torvald know about hard times. Early on in their marriage, Torvald became very ill and nearly died. Torvald's best chance of survival was to spend a year in the warm climate of Italy. But who can afford that? Nora found a way, a secret way. Will she tell us? For now, let's solve Christine's problems. She wants a job at the bank and hopes that Nora can put in a good word with Torvald. No problemo, girlfriend. You know, Nora's not just a pretty face. She hints that she took out a loan for their trip to Italy. But no one must know, especially Torvald. He is against borrowing money and would hate the idea of being in Nora's debt. He's a proud one, our Torvald. Then the ladies are interrupted by an unwelcome visitor, Nils Krogstad. He's here to speak with Torvald, so Nora shows him into the study. Good riddance. But Christine is taken aback by the sight of him. It turns out she knew Krogstad a long time ago. There must be more to that story. But here's Dr Rank. He's always good value. He's one of the few people Nora can relax around. She even blurts out a few things she wishes she could say to Torvald. Careful, Nora. He's out of his study. Nora leaps at the chance to secure a job for Christine. Luckily, Torvald would be happy to take her on board. But Christine's good fortune spells disaster for someone else. A little while later, when Nora is with the children, Nils Krogstad comes crawling back. He's figured out that he's being fired to make way for Christine Linda. Then he drops the bomb. He was the one who loaned Nora the money for the trip to Italy. She was so desperate to save Torvald's life that she forged her father's dying signature on the loan contract. Krogstad threatens to expose her crime if she can't persuade Torvald not to fire him. What a snake! When Torvald returns home, he knows Krogstad was there. Torvald can't stand him and has already made up his mind to sack him. The countdown to Nora's undoing begins. The following day, Nora asks Anne-Marie, their nanny, some strange questions. She wonders whether the children would miss her if she went away forever. Goodness, what's Nora thinking? When Christine arrives, she and Nora resume their gossip session. Christine is still intrigued about how Nora paid for that trip to Italy. Did Dr Rank loan her the money? He's obviously sweet on Nora if she didn't already know. In fact, Christine is concerned about all the secrets Nora keeps from Torvald. Oops, speak of the devil. Nora turns on the charm and urges Torvald not to sack Krogstad. She warns him about a possible backlash, but it's no use. Torvald can't have people thinking that Nora has the power to change his mind. In fact, he fast-tracks Krogstad's dismissal letter. Torvald can be so petty sometimes. How long before this perfect dollhouse implodes? When Nora tries to ask for Dr Rank's help, he professes his love for her. 
Now that his life is nearing its end, the poor man wanted to unburden his heart. But that just makes things awkward. Dr Rank is one of Nora's only friends. She can't chill with Torvald the way she can with Dr Rank. But chill time is over because Krogstad's back. What does that toad want now? He's received his dismissal letter and is on the warpath. Nora will never get her forged loan contract back, even when she's repaid all the money. It's his insurance policy for the lifetime of demands he's going to make. Not only does he want his job back, but he also wants his future secured at the bank. If this doesn't happen, he will go public with the forged loan contract, making both Nora and Torvald look like criminals. Krogstad has a letter for Torvald, explaining everything. As he leaves, he drops it into the locked letterbox. Only Torvald has the key for it, so Nora loses all hope. When Christine comes back into the room, Nora tells her everything. Christine to the rescue! She'll visit Krogstad, her old flame, and try to reason with him. In the meantime, Nora tries to distract Torvald from the letterbox. From her erratic behaviour, Torvald guesses that a letter from Krogstad has been delivered. He agrees to delay retrieving it until after the fancy dress ball tomorrow night. To Nora, this means she has 31 hours left to live. The following evening, Christine meets with Krogstad in the Helmer's living room. Nora and Torvald are upstairs at the fancy dress ball, so Christine and Krogstad can talk privately. They have unfinished business since Christine dumped him years ago. Krogstad spiralled badly after that, making all sorts of bad decisions. Now that Christine's taken his job, he's hit rock bottom. Since Christine is also alone in the world, she proposes marriage to him. For real! Her only condition is that she gets to keep her new job and be the breadwinner. This is the best thing that's ever happened to Krogstad. But now he regrets blackmailing the Helmers. When he offers to retrieve his blackmail letter from Torvald, Christine stops him. She believes the Helmers need more honesty in their marriage. Talk about a curveball. Has Christine just condemned Nora? When the Helmers arrive home, Christine advises Nora to be honest with Torvald. Nora prepares for the worst. After Christine leaves, Torvald becomes sexually aggressive towards Nora. She tells him to back off, but he thinks it's a game. Thankfully, she's saved by Dr Rank, who comes in to offer a final good night. Actually, it's more of a goodbye. Nora understands that this will be Dr Rank's last Christmas. Torvald doesn't get the hint. After Dr Rank leaves, Torvald retrieves all the letters and takes them to his room. It's not long before he's back, holding Krogstad's letter. The moment of truth. Torvald paces around the room, insulting and degrading Nora for putting him in this position. Never mind she got the loan to save his life. He even blames Nora's father for passing his bad traits onto her. Torvald can't even respect the dead. Nora quietly observes this horrible display. Torvald's true colours are showing, and they're hideous. When another letter arrives, addressed to Nora, Torvald snatches it. It's from Krogstad. He has withdrawn his threat and returned the loan contract. They're saved. Torvald burns the letters and documents, destroying all the evidence. Drunk with euphoria, he forgives Nora for her mistake. After all, she's just a silly squirrel. What does she know about the world? But Nora's not celebrating. She returns from her room fully dressed and tells Torvald to sit down. They're going to have their first serious conversation in eight years. Nora ends their marriage. He tries to protest in shock, anger and desperation, but it's no use. 
After witnessing Torvald's disgusting display, Nora cannot bear to spend one more night in the house. She hands over her keys and wedding ring. The servants can run the house and raise the children. Nothing short of a miracle could save their marriage now. And just like that, Nora is gone and Torvald is alone. Then he feels a sudden flash of hope. Does he have a miraculous plan to save his marriage? If so, he'd better hurry. That independent woman is probably halfway down the street by now. And that's where we leave Nora and Torvald Helmer. We hope it's not the end for them. But then again, maybe it's for the best. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons, check out our other videos.